Hello and welcome to this learning video. As you all know that in the last learning video we have seen complementary functions as well as particular integral and for these particular integral we have four different cases or four different rules. Okay. Likewise in this learning video we are going to discuss about case number 5 for particular integral on the topic higher order differential equations with constant coefficient. So let us see what this rule says. <coughs> so this rule says uh, in the right hand side you will be having x into some function of xy then pi can be written as 1 upon f of d into x into v. So this rule allows us to write pi as x into 1 upon f of d into v minus 1 upon f of d square into f dash of d into v. Now you may be wondering what is this all about? So what you need to do is you just need to keep v common in both and apply here the rule. What is that rule is first function first function x into f of d as it is. So uh, the first term is as it is this just changing the uh, x and f of d okay and then you have to take the derivative of this so what is derivative of x 1 and what is derivative of this 1 upon f of d square into f dash of d okay so you can think uh, or you can remember like this only so you everyone have their own tricks so whatever in whatever way you can remember remember okay because the important thing is you must know this then only you can apply the uh, this rule on uh, problems okay so let us see a problem on this so this is a problem where uh, you have to solve this so it is given then write down its auxiliary equation so what is its auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation can be found out by putting d is equal to m so this is m square minus 1 equal to 0 so m is equal to 1 1 so we are getting root as 1 1 and it is repeating right 1 1 no m square this is like m square is equal to plus 1 no not 1 1 that's plus minus 1 okay so we have this m then find out the cf so what is cf as the roots are real and unequal so this falls under the first case of cf this says you can write complementary function as c1 e to the power x c2 e to the power minus x after cf you are very uh, good at finding out cf okay and we are highly interested in uh, particularly for this example pi so what is pi pi is equal to 1 upon d square minus 1 into x into sin x okay so what you need to do is rearranging the first two terms. So x into 1 upon d square minus 1 into sin x as it is. Okay. What about the second term? Derivative of x is 1. What is derivative of this? 1 upon d square minus 1. So derivative of this is 1 upon d square minus 1. d square minus 1 whole square into what is derivative of d square minus 1? 2d into function as it is okay simple now what you need to do now this becomes a problem of this becomes a problem of case 2 earlier it was a problem of case 5 now it becomes a problem of case 2 okay so what case 2 says case 2 says put d square is equal to minus of coefficient of x square that is minus 1 so what we get will be getting pi is equal to x into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 x into 1 upon minus 2 sin x okay minus put again here x is d square equal to minus 1 so this is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 whole square is plus 4 into 2 times 
What this D stands for? This D stands for derivative with respect to x. So what is derivative of sin x? Is cos x. Okay. Now this get cancel with this. So you can take minus 1 by 2 outside. So this is minus 1 by 2 outside. And we remain with x sin x. x sin x plus cos x x sin x plus cos x minus 1 by 2 outside and then at last you can find out what nothing to find out you just have to write down the general solution therefore the general solution is solution is y is equal to cf plus pi so i have my cf cf is equal to this c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power minus x plus pi. What is pi? Minus 1 by 2 that is uh, cos x plus x sin x. Yeah. x sin x plus cos x. And don't forget to write where it's a good practice to write where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants arbitrary constants okay so this completes this problem now let me take one more problem on this so next problem is here it is this one okay example number two this problem is solve d square minus 2d plus 1 operating on y is equal to x into e to the power x into sin x. Okay. So, don't uh, bother about three terms <laughs> here. So, first of all, what you have to do given auxiliary equation d square m square minus m square minus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0 so m is equal to plus 1 2 times okay 1 1 so what my cf my cf is x into this okay that you can do let us see what is pi so what is pi 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 1 into x into e to the power x into sin x. Okay. So, you can just write down it as e to the power x into x into sin x. Okay. Now, this is nothing but a problem of case 4 e to the power x into v and then x into sin x case 5. So, this is a problem of case 4 and case 5. So, first of all, we apply case number 4, which says, just a minute. So first of all, we'll uh, make this uh, easier to apply case number 5. So, I will take, what I will do, I will take e to the power x outside. So, apply case number 5 first and then, and then case 5. Okay, so first I am going to apply this. So what this says, case number 4 says e to the power x outside replace d by d plus 1. So this is, this is like a d minus 1 whole square, right? This is d square minus 2d plus 1, that is d minus 1 whole square and coefficient of x is 1. So this is d plus 1 minus 1 whole square into x x sin x okay now we have taken uh, e to the power x outside so case number four over i can just solve this like e to the power x plus one minus one get cancelled and this is one by d square into x sin x now i can apply case five so what case number five says so case number five says Line case 5 over here. So 
Ti is equal to what is it? E to the power x outside and here we are going to apply the case 5. So x into 1 by d square into sin x minus what is derivative of this? 1 upon d what is it? d to the power 4 or d cube? This is d squared squared okay into derivative of this is 2d right now into what is it into sin x okay 1 upon d square square okay so now you can just uh, now this becomes a problem of rule number 2 okay but here you can yeah you can write case 2. So case 2 says put d square is equal to minus of coefficient of x minus 1. So we get what is it? Ti is equal to e to the power x into x into 1 upon minus 1 into sin x minus 1 upon minus 1 square 1 into 2. What is derivative of sin x? is cos x okay so uh, you can actually write to this uh, ti is equal to e to the power x into what is it into uh, i can take minus sign common x sin x x sin x plus 2 cos x x sin x plus 2 cos x this is my pi therefore the general solution is, therefore, the general solution is, what is it? Y is equal to CF plus PI. Okay. That is, Y is equal to C1 e to the power X plus X into C2 e to the power X minus PI e to the power X, X sin X plus 2 cos X. And don't forget to write, again I am saying it's a good practice to write where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constant. This is the way of writing systematically where C1 and C2 are arbitrary, arbitrary constants. Okay, so I hope this is clear to you. So thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics.